and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Locomotive Tutorial. Today, we're going to be building Norfolk Southern number 8098, the Conrail Heritage Unit, which is an ES44 AC. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual, our first step is to take a dark oak stair for the rear coupler and we'll attach that up. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence cave. Then on the next block down, we're going to put three polished blackstone across the bottom middle. Then an upside down outward facing polished blackstone stair on either side. Then five polished blackstone blocks above it. In front of it in the middle, a three block tall T-shape of polished blackstone. And hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. In front of that, we're going to do a five by three of polished blackstone coming out to each side of the tracks. Then we're going to put three smooth quartz slabs coming up this gap for stairs, three on this top middle, and three coming up this gap on this side for stairs. Then come back here on each outer edge, a dark oak button, and then open dark oak fence gates on either side of this coupler. Then swing around in front of this, skip one block forward from it, and get a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then, we're going to do upside down, deep slate tile stairs, five wide, in a back-to-back T-shaped -back pattern. Then in front of that, another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. In front of that, another set of upside down, deep slate tile stairs, five wide, in a back-to-back T-shaped -back pattern here. Then in front of that, another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then we'll open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here and into the ends of the wheels down here. Then on the second layer, we're gonna fill the top middle three with polished black stone block down the length of this truck. We're gonna come one block past these fence gates and then three on the bottom. Coming off the bottom, we're gonna do a row of upside down, outward facing polished black stone stairs and that's gonna be 15 blocks long in total. Once you have 15, three polished black stone on this end, and then same thing on this side, 15 upside down, polished black stone stairs to frame in the fuel tank on this side. Then come back up on the second layer and continue filling the top middle three with polished black stone down the length of the fuel tank. We'll stop at the end of the fuel tank for now here. Then we'll skip one block forward from this and get another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then same as before, we're going to do upside down deep slate tile stairs, five wide, and a back-to-back T-shaped pattern. Then another set of another right wheels and an end rod axle. And then deep slate tile stairs again, upside down, five wide, and a back-to-back T-shaped -back pattern. Then a final set of netherite wheels up here with an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here and into the ends of the wheels down here. Then we'll continue filling the top middle three with polished blackstone on the second layer. And we'll stop above these fence gates. In front of it, we're gonna do a five by three of polished blackstone block coming out to each side of the tracks here. In front of that, a T-shape in the middle and a lantern on either side of the second layer. In front of that, three polished black stone stairs on the bottom middle and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. On the next layer, a block in the middle, two upside down stairs on either side of it. Then three smooth quartz slabs coming up this gap, three on this top middle, and three on this side. Then take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around, stack it up to the middle second block, under it a sideways dark oak fence gate, and open a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler up here. Now we'll come through on the sides of the truck, everywhere there's a wheel, put a hopper on the side of it. Same thing back here. Then do the other side, hoppers in front of these wheels, and same thing up here. Then we'll come back through with deep slate tile slab, put a slab above each hopper. 
Same thing here. Then we'll do this side. And same thing up here. And my front end is facing the void, making this the conductor side. So on this side, above the fuel tank, a full row of polished black stone blocks. Then one block from the front, a crimson button right here. Then we're gonna skip five and do a crimson sign. Come over on this side, at the front we do three polished black stone blocks, a player head, crimson button, crimson sign. At the back, two polished black stone blocks. Then we're gonna do four anvils here, and then five anvils here. Come to the back of the fuel tank on each side and put a brewing stand on this second layer. Then we need a bell, a chain, and a grindstone here. We're gonna put a grindstone here and here, and then same thing on this side. Then take a chain, one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here, and one here. Come up to the front, we're gonna do the same thing. So a grindstone here and here, then here and here, then a chain here, a chain here, chain here, chain here, turn around, chain here, chain here. Then on this third layer up, we're gonna fill the whole top middle three end to end with polished black stone. Then on this top outside edge, we're gonna go end to end up here with smooth quartz slabs. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, on the top layer, end to end with smooth quartz slabs here. Then on this conductor side, we're gonna take out a bell, come to the front of the fuel tank, and we're gonna hang a bell in front of the fuel tank right here. Now on the top of the front, on the third block back, we're gonna do two light blue concrete on the left, a warp door, light blue concrete, smooth quartz, and a two by two of light blue. Then a light blue on this top middle. Then a column of two light blue on either side, and three light blue on this back middle here. Then on each outside edge back here, a forward facing polished black stone stair, then an outward facing one on either side of the nose here. Then on this side behind it, we're gonna do light blue concrete, two light blue shulker boxes, light blue concrete. On this side, light blue concrete, shulker box, blast furnace, light blue concrete. Then four light blue concrete above each side. Above that, light blue concrete in each corner and two smooth quartz in the middle. Across here, two black stained glass, light blue concrete, two black stained glass. Put a white stained glass pane on either side of this for mirrors. Behind it on each side, two black stained glass panes and a light blue concrete behind it. Then on the top middle, we're gonna do a three by four of light blue concrete up here. Then we're gonna put four outward facing prismarine brick stairs above the windows on either side of the top of the cab. Then up on the nose, a black carpet on each of these corners and a T-shape up here. Also a T-shape of black carpet on this front porch. Come up top, in the center of the cab, two polished diorite slabs and two levers on each side going into each other. Then three light blue carpet across the front, three across the back here. And now we'll swing around behind the cab. Then coming off the top middle of the cab, a line of seven light blue concrete coming back. Then two cobble deep slate and two iron bars on either side of the cobble deep slate. On this conductor side here, we're gonna do two blue concrete here, then three sideways observers and two blue concrete. Then we'll come over here. On this engineer side, the pattern is slightly different up here. So starting back by the iron bars, two blue con light blue concrete, two sideways observers, light blue concrete with a dark oak sign on it, another observer, and a light blue concrete. 
In this corner here, two light blue concrete, and then a warp door. Then four light blue concrete, then two, and right here, two light blue stained glass panes. Come behind the stained glass panes and put two light blue concrete behind them. Then we'll fill the rest of this in, four high with light blue concrete, to the back of this section. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to fill it all in right here, four high, with light blue concrete, and bring it right down to the back of this section. Just like that. Then down under this door, two light blue shulker boxes, two concrete, two shulker boxes, a concrete. Then one light blue right under the door so we can get up to it. Come over on this side, starting from the cab, we're going to do seven light blue concrete coming back and raise it up till it's three blocks tall here. Then we're going to come in and grab the polish deep slate wall. And we're going to put a wall down in that corner. Now we'll swing down to the back on the third block in, in the middle. A light blue concrete here, then one here and here. And we're going to raise those all up until it's five blocks tall. Then on either side of the top back here, two light blue concrete sticking out to the side. Then we'll swing in front of this in the middle and we're going to do a line of eight cobbled deep slate coming forward. We'll raise the cobbled deep slate up till it's three blocks tall. Then in this corner starting at the back a column of three deep slate tile walls every other block to the front of this section like this. Then in the gaps on the bottom of each one we're going to put a light blue shulker box. Then in the middle, iron bars. Then on the top, light blue concrete. Then we'll bring two layers of light blue concrete to the front of this section above it. Then on this side, starting in this back corner, we're gonna do a reverse L shape of light blue concrete here. Then on the top block, we're gonna close a jungle trap door for the brake wheel. Then above it, we're going to fill in here and two here with light blue shulker boxes. Then in front of that, we're going to do a column of three deep slate tile walls every other block. Then same as before, light blue shulker boxes on the bottoms, iron bars in the middle, light blue concrete in the tops. Then two layers of light blue concrete to the front of this section on top here. Just like that. Then on the top up here on the side, five light blue concrete coming forward on each side of the top. In front of it on each side, four outward facing prismarine brick stairs. Same thing here. Then we're going to put a light blue concrete here and here, two cobbled deep slate in the middle with iron trap doors on them. Then surround it up here with prismarine brick slabs. Then we're going to come up this middle gap with slabs and then one on each side of the back. Then we're going to fill each side like this with deep slate tile slabs. Then we'll go ahead and come underneath here. Under these prismarine brick stairs, two prismarine brick slabs on the center of it like that. Same thing here, two slabs in the center. Then starting at the front of this light blue concrete underneath, a row of upside down prismarine brick stairs facing outward, five long. Same thing here, five upside down, prismarine brick stairs right here. Just like that. Then we'll come up to this middle gap and we're going to fill it four tall with light blue concrete on each side. And we're going to go ahead and bring that till it meets up with the front and the sides are all the way filled in here. Just like that. Then at the back of this section up here, we'll do a three by three of light blue concrete. And on the top middle, a daylight sensor for an exhaust. Then at the front of this section, three prismarine brick stairs like this. Then fill this middle with light blue concrete. And at the back of it, a three by three of prismarine brick slabs. In front of that, in the center, we're gonna open back to back fence gates for a horn and fill the rest of this with prismarine brick slabs here. 
Now take out black carpet, cover this top up here with black carpet. Then come down on the walkway and bring black carpet all the way down to the back of the locomotive, right here. Then knock out this block here, put in black wool, a T-shape of black carpet on the end, two on this side here. Then bring it all the way forward up the walkway on this side. Then we need to get it up here, and we'll have to crouch to place them on these shulker boxes. And then one on this top step up here. Now we're gonna make a banner. So we're gonna come into a loom here with a light blue banner and white dye. We're gonna put a horizontal on top and on the bottom. And this is for part of our logo here and we'll start working on the logo. We're gonna come up here under where these prismarine brick stairs are on the top and right under it, we're gonna knock out a two by two on the side and also knock out a two by two aligned with it on the other side. And then we'll put a two by two of light blue concrete in the center here. Then we're gonna take smooth quartz stairs and upside down stair facing this way here, right side up stair facing this way above it and right side up stair facing this way like that. Then we're gonna do the same thing on this other side. So an upside down smooth quartz stair facing this way here, right side up going this way above it, and then right side up going this way. Then we're gonna take out the banners that we made here. Then on this side, we're gonna put two of them right here, and then a line coming forward up the side of this inverter box. So that's what the logo looks like, and we'll do the other side. Come over here, put your banners here, and we'll bring it forward to right there. Then, we're gonna come right here, and we're gonna knock out a row of four coming forward, starting right here. And we're gonna replace those with smooth quartz blocks to represent where it says Conrail, because there's no way we can fit it. Do the same thing here, knock out four right here, put in smooth quartz. And actually I'm not liking how the logo looks so we're gonna modify it some more. We're gonna come in front of this, knock out these two, and on the other side. Get two light blue in the center to cover that. We're gonna take off this stair, put in a smooth quartz block, then a smooth quartz stair here, then we're gonna grab a smooth quartz slab and put it under this stair like this. Now the logo looks a little better. Repeat it over here, so come over here, take off this stair, put in a block, then the stair right here, and a slab underneath it here. Now the logos are done and we'll work on our railings. Come up here with birch fences. Right here we'll come up four. Here we're gonna come up three, over one, and up two. Same thing here, so up three, over one, up two, and then up four right here. Then take warp fences, two here, two here. We're gonna repeat it at the back, so come back here with birch fence. Right here, come up four. Here, come up three, over one, up two. Here, come up three, over one, up two. Then here, come up four, switch to warp fence, two here, two here. Then connect your warp fence up right here and start bringing it all the way forward up this walkway. Right here, we'll come up one and start coming over again. Then right here, come up one and over two. Then we'll do this other side. So come to the back up here, connect your warp fence up, and come all the way forward up this walkway. When we get right here, we're gonna put two on here, then up two on the end, and bring it over till it connects with the cab here. 
Next, come on top with light blue carpet, and we're gonna cover this whole section up here. So all these vents are covered with light blue carpet. Bring it right back over these iron bars here. Now we'll come up front, put a glow item frame on either side of these fences with glowstone. Then we're gonna come up on the top middle above the windshield. And we're also gonna put a glow item frame with glowstone on that top middle for the headlight here. On the side of it, a birch sign with 80, 98, and same thing on the other side. Hit these with black dye and a glow ink sack. Then we'll go down and detail the rear end. Back here, under this overhang on each side, we're gonna put a warp sign with 8098. We're gonna hit these ones with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then in the center, a glow item frame with glowstone. Then glow item frame with glowstone on either of these fences back here. Then we're gonna grab a ladder and put a ladder up this left-hand side here. Now we'll do the interior. So come in through this door. In this corner, put an end portal. Next to it, a column of cut sandstone slabs up to the window. Same thing on this side. Then on the side, stack your slabs up two blocks tall, two blocks tall on this back middle, two blocks tall on this side. In the center, use your slabs to make a staircase coming down. Then in this back middle, a blast furnace and a glowstone. Then a stair on each side for seats. A slab on the left. Up here, a glow item frame with an end crystal and a lever on the right. Come down here, turn around and put a door right here. Now the interior is done. I just realized we forgot the logo on the back, so come back here, knock out this block, replace it with smooth quartz. Then we're gonna grab a light blue carpet, and on these top outside edges up here, fill it on both sides with light blue carpet here. We'll also surround this daylight sensor up here with light blue carpet as well. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our Norfolk Southern Conrail Heritage Unit in the S44 AC. I hope you enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.